Let's go over the solution to weekly math challenge 16 and we have a winner this time and his or her name is Fanfly and he or she said I used the means inequality and got the answer of 54 and yes the answer is indeed 54. So in this video we will endeavor to get the same answer Fanfly got and how there's many ways of thinking about this. But let me read the question first. If the area of triangle ABC is 27, we want to find the maximum value of capital R, which is the circumradius, times lowercase r cubed. And lowercase r is the in radius of ABC. And one way you might have thought about this question is maybe we should look at equilateral triangle. Maybe we should look at equilateral triangle. And you may say why? And the thing is, in mathematics, one of the more prevalent motif, more prevalent idea is that you have maximums or minimums when things are symmetric. Symmetric and extrema almost always, not, not every single time, but almost always goes together. Whenever you're trying to find maximum or minimum, it's advisable that you look at square or equilateral triangle or things with as much symmetry as possible. And in this question, in fact, equilateral triangle is actually going to be the solution to this question. So if you try to solve this question using 30-60-90 relationship in the equilateral triangle, you are going to obtain the correct solution. So in this video, I'm going to do it two ways. First of all, I'm going to use equilateral triangle and I'm actually going to get 54 as my answer. And But the thing is, just because this idea, just because symmetry and extrema have close connections, do, do not actually justify the equilateral triangle has to give you the maximum. So for the, for the second part of this video, I'm actually going to prove it. I'm going to prove that it has to be equilateral triangle. There are no other triangles except equilateral triangle that's going to get us the maximum value of r r cubed. And I am actually going to use AMGM inequality, arithmetic mean geometric mean inequality, to prove it. But let me start with step number one. Let me show you that for equilateral triangle, you're actually going to get 54. So we know, let me start by drawing out an equilateral triangle. That seems reasonable. And let me mark it A, B, C. And you know the area of equilateral triangle is 27. That's very interesting. So let me start by marking the side of equilateral triangle S. And we can actually find the S using this information. But let me continue on just a bit. So we are going to have circumcircle going around. So that's going to be the circumcircle. Circumcircle going around. And you are going to have your in-circle that's going to be within. So that's in-circle. And you have lowercase r. Lowercase r being, let me make sure my in-circle is more reasonable. It actually touches the sides. Okay, so that's one side. That's two sides. That's the last side. And in center is going to be, in radius is going to be this lowercase r. And circumradius is going to be this capital R from all the way. And let me, that's going to be 90 degrees because this is point of tangency. And what else do we know? Let me, let me write area is 54. Not 54, area is 27 right next to it because I feel like we're going to have to use that in the near future. So how can we find lowercase r and capital R? Well, let's start by finding the side of the equilateral triangle. The thing is, for equilateral triangle, area is going to be side squared times square root of 3 over 4. So let me prove that really fast, just in case you don't see how I'm getting that. So let me call the side of equilateral triangle to be S. By dropping down a perpendicular, you're getting 30, 60, 90 triangle. So that's going to be side over 2, and this is going to be side times square root of 3 over 2, just multiplying by square root of 3. And the area is going to be base times height, so multiply this 2. And you're going to divide by 2, and that should get us s squared times square root of 3 over 4. So we know this is equal to 27. 
So let me find s really fast. So our s is going to be 108 over square root of 3. And you're going to square root this. You can, uh, I may be going too fast, but I'm just solving this equation for s. And you're going to get square root of, you're going to get 6, not 6, 36 times square root of 3 or 6 times square root of square root of 3. So that's going to be the value of s. Okay, so what, how do we find cap, lowercase r and capital R? Well, you have 30, 60, 90 triangle residing within. So let's utilize that. To begin with, this length, this length is going to be our s over 2, or 3 times square root of square root of 3. So our lowercase r is going to be 3, times square root of square root of 3 divided by square root of 3 using 30, 60, 90 triangle relationship. And our capital R, so let me write that down. Our lowercase r is 3 times square root of square root of 3 over square root of 3. And our capital R is going to be twice this, or 6 times square root of square root of 3. <laughs> That's too many square roots. Over square root of 3. And r is going to be 3 over square root of 3 is same thing as square root of 3. So you have square root of 3 times square root of square root of 3, and capital R is twice that. And we want to find the value of capital R lowercase r cubed. So capital R lowercase r cubed is going to be 2 times square root of 3, square root of square root of 3. And you're going to now cube this. Cubing square root of 3 is going to get us 3 times square root of 3. Cubing square root of square root of 3 is going to get us square root of 3 times square root of square root of 3. So let's try to simplify this a bit. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 gets you 3. And 2 times 3 is 6. So you have 18 so far. 2 times 3 is 6. And you have another 3. So that's getting us 18. And you have square root of square root of 3 and square root of square root of 3. Multiplying them are going to get us square root of 3. Multiply by another square root of 3. And that gets us 3. And the final product is 54. So if you are just going by this idea of symmetric and extrema having close relationship, you're going to say the answer looks like it's 54. But looks like or it seems like it or it usually is, is never going to be a genuine proof. So now we are on to part two of this video and I'm actually going to prove that equilateral triangle is the only way you're going to get the maximum value of capital R, R cubed. So how I'm going to do it, I'm going to use arithmetic mean, geometric mean inequality, which states the arithmetic mean is always greater than or equal to geometric mean. I'm not going to prove this in this video. I, I have a proof of this using, using what do you call it? using Lagrange's multiplier and his theorem on extrema using multivariable calculus. That's one of the videos in my channel, but I'm not going to get to that. So arithmetic mean is always greater than or equal to geometric mean. And the only time you have equality, the only time they are actually equal, so AM is equal to GM only if all of the elements, all of the, all of the elements or all of the numbers you're multiplying all of the numbers are the same. So arithmetic mean and geometric mean of 2, 2, 2 are both going to be the same. It's going to be 2. Anyway, so we know arithmetic mean is greater than or equal to geometric mean. So let me write down arithmetic mean and geometric mean for three variables. And you may say, why am I using three? Well, the main reason is, is because we have a triangle going on. So you are, you're going to have a plus b plus c over 3 is going to be greater than or equal to cube root of a, b, c. And maybe you're already seeing that maybe this actually, we want to maximize capital R, lowercase r cubed. And by cubing this expression, maybe this cubed is somehow going to come about. Anyway, so maybe, maybe it looks like this is the way to go. And what do we do? How can we relate? A, B, C, and capital R and lowercase r. Well, we can say A, B, and C are the side lengths of the triangle. So we can say A, B, and C are side lengths. So it can be something like this, A, B, and C. And how do we relate the, the, these A, B, C, and capital R and lowercase r? You may remember that 
the area of triangle, area of triangle ABC is equal to, that's just, air, that's, I'm just writing area of ABC, area of triangle ABC is equal to A plus B plus C over 2 times lowercase r, that, I'm not going to prove this, but it, it's one of the theorems, you can take the parameter divided by 2 and multiply by r, I may prove it in some other video in the future, and it's also equal to area of triangle ABC is also equal to ABC over 4 times capital R. So these two, I'm not going to prove it in this video once again, maybe in some other videos. So these two are both equal to ABC, and realize we have an intimate relationship. You have A plus B plus C, A plus B plus C, A times B times C, and A times B times C, and you have lowercase r and capital R. So maybe we can connect all of these together somehow. So let's try to do so. So let's try to do so. So we know A from, let me go to the right just a bit. So from this, you know A plus B plus C is equal to area of ABC times 2 over R, just using this relationship. And you know A times B times C is going to be area of ABC times 4 for r, just using this relationship this time. And now let's substitute these values into a m g m. So you know a plus b plus c over 3, or area of a b c times 2 over 3r has to be greater than or equal to cube root of a b c, and cube root of a b c is going to be area of a b c times for r. And we know area of ABC. What was area of ABC? So area of ABC, going all the way back, was area of triangle ABC was 27. So let me go back. So we know a area of ABC was 27. So let me substitute that right in. So we have 27, 27 times 2 over 3R is equal to cube root of 27 times for r, uh, greater than or equal to, inequality is important, okay, so we have inequality, and now let's try to solve this, so let's start by cubing both sides of the, let me actually simplify just a bit, that's equal to 9, and 27 times 4 is 108, so you have 18 over r is greater than or equal to cube root of 108 r, and now let me, now let me cube both sides, you're going to get so cubing 18 over r is greater than or equal to 108r, or capital R times lowercase r is less than or equal to 18 cubed over 108. And what is 18 cubed over 108? Okay, so 18 cubed is going to be 18 times 18 times 18, you're dividing by 108, and you may know that 18 times 18 is 324, and 324 divided by 108 gets you 3, and you're going to get 3 times 18, which is 54. So this entire thing is 54. So this should be r cubed, because you're cubing r all along. So you know capital R times lowercase r cubed is less than or equal to 54. So what's the maximum value capital R times lowercase r can obtain? That's 54. And when is that? When do you have e equality? Well, you have equality when A, B, and C are all the same. And A, B, and C are the side lengths of the triangle. So A, B, and C all the same is telling you that this maximum value of 54 is going to occur when you have equilateral triangle. So to summarize, we tried using equilateral triangle be, assuming that symmetry is going to get us the maximum, and we got the answer of 54, and we use AMGM inequality and this given value of the area to show that maximum value is 54, and it only occurs when you have equilateral triangle. Thanks for watching.